We've Got Your Back on ABC 27 is brought to you by Penn State Milton S. Hershey Medical Center. Welcome back. You still have a few minutes to get your questions in. The number is 717-346-3333. The phone lines are open until 8 o'clock this evening. And here is our last viewer question. I am only 51 and I live with chronic joint and lower back pain every day. I've been told I have spinal stenosis, sciatica, and a bent sacrum. I've tried injections, but because I'm diabetic, they caused my sugar levels to go very high and didn't relieve the pain in my back or down my legs. I'm desperate for advice. I feel like I'm 81. Well, if a patient has lumbar spinal stenosis that is causing back pain and leg pain, then they might be a very good candidate for a surgical decompression procedure. So I would advise talking to one of our surgical colleagues. Uh, of course, there are many other options besides surgery and besides injections, such as physical therapy, and there's quite a number of different anti-nerve pain medications that could be tried before, before committing yourself to uh, these more aggressive approaches. Okay, thanks so much, Dr. David G. and Petro, for answering our questions tonight. Okay. Once again, the phone lines are open. We want to thank the specialists here this evening for answering your calls. The lines are open until 8 o'clock, or you can email your questions as well. We'll send it back to you, Chuck. Thank you, Deborah. Now joining us in the studio is Dr. Timothy Ryder. And uh, doctor, are we talking about the procedures that, that are done at Hershey Med Center at the uh, Spine Center? What makes Hershey special? There are several spine centers in the area. What makes them unique? I think a good part of it is that we're academic. You know, we're teachers. We're there to teach residents and teach medical students. But in the same, I, you know, the same uh, theme, we, we also, I think, teach patients about what their problem is. We teach them ways they can treat it. You know, we're, we're there to educate them and then make a good decision on the way, the, the best way to treat their problem. Somebody watching tonight may say, you know what, I've been bothered by this a long time. This hurts or that hurts. How tough is it to get an appointment with you folks? Uh, it's not difficult at all. You can, you can call us to get an appointment. The scheduler will ask you a couple questions, or your doctor can call us to make an appointment. All right. I went through this, so uh, when I showed up, I had my... MRI and I had some information from my family doctor. What should people bring with them? Did I do the right thing with that? Yes, yes. And it's really kind of pertinent history. So if some records say you had some procedures before, you had an operation before, uh, those records are good for us. Um, the reports of your studies as far as your MRI or x-rays, we want to see the actual studies themselves. So if that's on CD or films, we'd like to see them. Um, you know, just a lot of background information for us to make a, a diagnosis. Now tell me, talk about some new treatments. Uh, I talked to Dr. Nobb, he said he's been practicing for nine years. How about yourself? How I've been you? for 10 years. All right. You've seen changes over the 10 years, I'm sure. Yes. Talk about something, what's on the horizon, some of the new treatments that uh, we don't know about yet? I think a lot is geared towards sparing motion. The spine is supposed to move, so instead of trying to fuse segments to fix things, we're trying to keep the motion there, because that's when people, I think, do the best. Um, I think that's true for the mechanics, even with physical therapy, again, kind of trying to work with patients to optimize the motion they have. So I think in, in non-operative and operative specialties, we're all looking at trying to keep people do, you know, with the best mm -hmm. mechanics possible. And if we have to do surgery on them, keeping motion rather than fusion, fusing the bone. Maybe it's because I have some back problems, but are more people having it, or is it just because now I'm talking about it? It seems like we're hearing more about back issues. Is that a situation? Do you see that in your practice? Yeah, it's a difficult question. You know, I don't know if, if that's the case, or maybe now that we have better imaging, we can diagnose problems better. We, we could find more more people are seeking treatment for their back problems. That's the secret right there. They're seeking treatment. All right. Don't want to use me as an example, but I'll use it because I did something dumb. The first time I had a back issue, I went and uh, they were said, okay, no surgery, but therapy. I did the therapy. I got better. Once I got better, I forgot about the therapy. I didn't do my exercise and I'm out, back my routine about a year later, flared up again, and I right back knocking on the door. Now I don't miss it. Every day I do my stretching. How important is that? It's very important. I mean, a healthy to have a healthy spine, you need to exercise. You need to keep yourself in the best shape you can. You need to watch your weight. Um, that's something you need to do every day. And, and unfortunately, you can never quit. You just have to that's keep, what happens. keep going. People let it go there. Uh, do you see a sense when people come in, is there a sense of please, desperation because I talk to people about things and they, they want somebody to fix it. And that's a difficult thing to deal with because there's no easy fixes. I mean, even if surgery is going to help you, 
you're still going to need to do some physical therapy. You're still going to need to do some rehabilitation. I mean, it really takes the whole team to mm -hmm. try to help the patient. You know, when somebody comes in and say, Doc, just fix me, I, you know, I got to explain to them. It, it just, I wish it was that easy, but it's not. And you have the team there. We do have the so team there, and that's the nice. And, you know, and we really work together. We have conferences where we discuss our difficult mm -hmm. cases. You know, we see each other every day. It's a very good atmosphere. Well, thank you for joining us tonight, Doctor. We appreciate that. And we thank everybody else. We also want to thank the viewers for sharing your stories and sending in our questions. And if you'd like more information, here's what you want to do. You want to schedule an appointment with Penn State Hershey Spine Center. You want to call 717-531-3767. You can visit online, pennstatehershey.org slash spine. And that's all you have to do, and they'll take care of you from there. Thanks for watching tonight, and of course, we wish you all good health.